Good morning everyone. Today we're going to work on an old rototiller to see if we can get it running again to make it easier for Paula to weed the garden. Hello and welcome to our channel. We're, we're glad, glad you're, you're here. here. Alright, this is an old, just an MTD generic rototiller that used to be my uh, former father-in-law's. It was a good running tiller, uh, but we haven't probably used this thing in like 10 years. So the tires keep going flat, uh, all the control cables are seized up on it, and it won't, uh, won't do anything. The pull start was stuck on it, the cable was, the, the string was hanging out. Uh, I think about five years ago, a co-worker of mine wanted to borrow a rototiller. I said, oh yeah, I've got, I've got one, I'll bring, bring it in for you. And uh, just went to, went to start it up at the house and it, you know, the cable carrier, this pull string came out about halfway and, and just stuck. It wouldn't go back in. So we'll start with that. Um, before I put all the cables on, I'm going to make sure that the motor still starts and runs. I've already taken it apart to get parts. The starter clutch on these you can see down in there there's some some balls in this in this uh, like star shaped cage and then the piece that goes inside of there has this these lobes on it when uh, when you pull a cord it turns it this direction and the balls wedge and then when it starts the outer piece spins and the balls just stay up inside these these cages Normally you can clean these up and get them to work again, but the, the screws holes are stripped out on that one, so it was easier just to buy a new one. It's like, I don't know, 15 bucks or something on, on eBay or Amazon. So you can see it won't, center shaft won't turn this way, but it will turn this way. So one problem you can have with these is like that one, the inside's all rusted up, and then the other, the uh, square piece rides on this shaft, which can get rusty at times. So I've already already cleaned it up and, and uh, put some grease on it. And we will stick this new piece on there. Turn it on. I will tighten this up before, uh, before I put the cover on. Put the pull start cover on and the square drive in this, this plastic piece that the rope pulls is what drives this. So it'll pull it this direction to start the engine and then once the engine starts this will stay solid inside the pull start which basically will be spinning backwards as the engine runs. So I'll get this tightened up, get the pull start cover back on and replace the throttle cable because it's seized up in fact, it is so seized up that the, the handle broke off. So I've got a new handle and a new, new throttle cable. I'll get those put on, that tightened up and the cover on, and we will pull the rope and see if this thing will start up. Well, let's give it a try. It starts. I kind of cheated there. I had it running before I turned the camera on. But uh, a couple pulls and it fires right up. So that's a good sign. I will go ahead and get these cables changed. Um, at that point I didn't even bother changing the throttle cable yet. I just unhooked it where it bolts on up here and just pulled it manually. So I didn't waste the time if it was, if it was bad. But uh, it starts and runs. So we will change this cable which is the throttle cable and the uh, the throttle control box, which I've got the view box there. This is, I believe, the the Tyne control cable, which is okay. That's the drive. So the left hand side here is the Tyne control. So we'll change this cable. This cable is the forward drive cable, which is. This cable, here's my throttle cable, and we have the reverse cable, which is this, this lever up here. So I'll get these three cables changed, 
And I also bought three new belts for it because those belts have been on there forever. In fact, the side cover that covers the belts, which is laying up on top of that mess over there, uh, that was actually left off on purpose by the father-in-law because this one of these belts it tended to throw. I think it might have been might have been this main belt here, which you can see is pretty pretty floppy. But uh, it would throw that belt on him, so he just kept the kept the cover off so he could put it back on. But hopefully with new belts and get everything cleaned up, this thing will run uh, run well and not have to have that on there. And when we go to use this in the garden, uh, see this little bracket right here that was added. There's one of those on each side, and there's some sheet metal covers that come out and around the wheel, and I think they attach in the back right here. And that keeps the tires covered, so when we use it for weeding, which is what we're going to use it for, uh, you can run it down the rows, and it, it pushes the plants back out of the way. Oh, got some peacock squawking going on out there. So I will get these belts changed and these cables changed and uh, we'll give this thing a try, see how good it works. All right, there we are, all back together. And it seems to be working. We're gonna actually try it here. I'm gonna run, uh, run down the edge of the corn. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it or not, but uh, let's see, there's the post. So the corn row is right here. So I'm gonna run it right down beside the corn and see how it works. We'll give this a shot. up pretty good we might want to lower it down just a hair I've got it set at three inches depth right now and it's still leaving a little bit there so it might take it down to four and a half but I don't want to go too deep to damage you know any roots on the plants that we're saving uh, and I think the the traction drive needs tightened up just a hair because this thing used to pull harder than it did there but other than that I think we got a winner so this should uh, definitely cut down the time it's going to take Paul to get this garden weeded, and we're going to have to get a lot more, uh, a lot more wood chips to fill in the rest of it, because the, the section over there she did with the uh, wood chips looks really good. There's a couple, couple little things starting to grow in there, but those they should pull pretty easy. So there's the old tiller running again. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Please thumbs up and subscribe. If you subscribe, you click the little bell, you'll get a notification next time we uh, upload a video. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.